first half. But he has given this penalty her Heinemann. Jerry. He couldn't have been better positioned. He's, what, five yards from it. It looks to me as if Milinovic has got a hold of Shevchenko's shirt. As this cross comes into the box, he breaks free, and I think Milinovic pulls him back, and the referee has spotted it and given it. And, well, you can see her... Katanec can't Katanec believe is, it. He's, not, he's really upset because, you know, I think there was a clear-cut penalty shot in the first half, which Slovenia didn't get, and this game has now changed totally on one decision against, I would say, against the runner play as well. Well, definitely against the runner play. Katanec was described as a basketball player by Gianluca Vialli at Sampdoria, <laughs> and he gave a real slam dunk with the gloves there, didn't he? And he's pulling Udovic back. Udovic still looks committed even though he's on the bench. They've given everything here and uh, this is the turning point in the game for me. 23 minutes to go. And despite the fact Shevchenko takes the penalties for Milan, it will be Sergei Rebrov! And the Kiev fans go wild! Rebrov has turned into Slovenia's very own abominable snowman. With Dabanovic easily beaten by the penalty. And now completely against the run of play. Slovenia are behind. And they've only got just over 20 minutes to save it, Jerry. Yes, I mean, he sent the goalkeeper Dabanovic the wrong way. Great penalty kick from Red Rob. But, you know, we did say in the first half, the two or three clear-cut opportunities they had, they might rue those misses. And it looks like they are ruining them at the moment. And there's a way in such a dangerous position. And when you've got people like Zavic and Pavlin, great left foot. It's an opportunity, isn't it? Looks like it's going to be Zavic. 13 minutes to go in Kiev. Can the man from Olympiakos produce? Zlatko Zavic really does seem to rest with him. Oh, and it's disappointing. Radonia can drive one. Oh, oh and is it deflected in? It's Pavlin who's celebrating. And there's no flag, and Slovenia have done it with 13 minutes to go. Radonja drove it in, and a very deliberate boot from Pavlin. So once again, Slovenia in Euro 2000 dreamland. Do you think the finish was deliberate? I think he, he tried to deflect the ball, Pavlin tried to deflect the ball and did turn it past the goalkeeper. There was actually a player in an offside position, it looked like Novak to me, but the linesman has ruled that he wasn't interfering with play. And it's no more than Slovenia deserved, I mean they have certainly deserved a goal tonight. And uh, there's another mountain to climb, here it is again. It's a great shot from Radonja. And Novak it's definitely offside, but definitely yes. not interfering. Definitely not interfering, and again there's a definite touch from Pavlin.